welcome to ITU Telecom World 2018 here in Durban, South Africa, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by the Honorable Nomvula Mokonyani, who is the Minister of Communications for South Africa. Minister, thank you very much indeed for joining us in the studio today. Thank you. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about smart digital transformation. It's, it's something that's being banded about here. What does it mean to you? Well, it, it means um, with, with smart, it, it means it can be in a position to penetrate both urban and rural so that it becomes inclusive. Secondly, it, it, it also means adapting to new technologies and being able to even have the skilled capacity to deal with that, particularly the participation of young people. And thirdly, it must also be cost effective for access and most importantly, there must also be some ownership, particularly through the participation of uh, new role players. And all that will be highly dependent on uh, research and development. Now, we heard some inspiring words here from the president this morning. What are the challenges and the opportunities for telecommunications and ICTs here in South Africa? Four challenges uh, come into mind. One, it is about the, the production where the country continues to be the consumer and not a producer for the world. Everything produced in the world lends itself on our pumps and we all become excited about it. But by the time it reaches our shores, there's already a new an upgrade and stuff. And therefore that requires a lot of uh, uh, innovation in South Africa to also become competitive in producing. Secondly, it, it, is, it is also about uh, the quality of product, quality of product in terms of uh, environmental challenges, because as we deal with innovation, as we deal with uh, the, the advanced technology, what we have to guard against is uh, the impact on the environment. And though that is one of the things that we also are looking at, working together with various other role players, including those that are in the environment set. The third one is around the skills. The skills that are quite important for the management, for the distribution, but most importantly for participating not only as consumers, but as owners of products. And therefore, again, the young people become very important. Women become critical role players, not only as those who can afford to purchase, but also as those who can be lent at a hand to become part of the, the, the industry, part of uh, those who make the final determination. It's quite exciting for South Africa in Africa to be hosting this, uh, this conference because uh, it, it also shows that we also have the, com the capacity, which then takes me to com being competitive. And the last issue, it's, 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 it's about uh, uh, issues around cybercrime. Because as, as technology advances, there's also... Uh, privacy that gets compromised, particularly when you look at uh, the issues of women, uh, human trafficking, children, cyberbullying, and, and so forth. Those are some of the things, including fake news. And for a, for a democracy that is still uh, maturing, you definitely have to look at that because besides the gadget, besides the instrument, what is important is the content. The content that goes with the product becomes therefore important and hence the a regulatory environment that is very protective of, 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 of uh, harm, but also very uh, protective of uh, anti-competition, but of importance that also takes care of the security, not only of uh, the individuals, but security of the country. Now, ITU is a United Nations ITU is the United Nations Agency for ICTs, and uh, in terms of the United Nations, one of the uh, key uh, goals at the moment is the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. I wanted to ask you about your the relationship you think between ICTs and SDGs. How how important do you think that's that they are? exactly why I was raising the issues around uh, environmental management. That's exactly why I raised the issues around women because there's an for the first time there's a, there's a standalone outcome in the SDGs that deals with women, um, and and uh, the issues around uh, people. To people relationships becomes also quite important and therefore um, the, the, the issues around uh, 
telecommunications do also contribute towards a sustainable uh, development agenda that does not undermine the realities of global warming, but also that takes along women, young people, and those who have been historically disadvantaged. Because primarily majority of the SDGs seek to, to also take along developing nations whilst also making it obligatory on developed nations to invest in correcting the inequalities of the past. And I think even with telecommunication, it is all about that because we know how it can be used as, as a security threat, as a, a bullying tactic. We also know how it can just undermine the sovereignty. I mean, with, with the advance of technology, there's no border. Um, information reaches everyone on real time and and therefore part of what we should all be doing as we look at uh, smart innovative uh, uh, development uh, 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 solutions we need to also be concerned about the recipient the, the human being uh, uh, who must not actually whose rights will not be compromised but whose responsibility on handling technology also must not undermine peace and stability in the world. Finally, we talked uh, briefly about hosting this event We're here at ITU Telecom World. It's in Durban, South Africa. What's been the, the value of hosting this event? Of course, we're very pleased to be here, but I wanted to find out from you as hosts. The, the value has been on threefold. One, it happens in a year where we're celebrating two uh, of our very well respected freedom fighters. We know that uh, President Mandela is referred to a, as a world icon, but for an ordinary South African, this is a freedom fighter. He fought for this freedom. For, for, for us to celebrate Albertina Sisulu, a woman, it's also very important. The coincidence is quite important because the emphasis he ha here has also been about don't leave women behind. And I think remembering this freedom fighter, a professional health worker, a, 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 an intellectual like Albertina Sisulu, it shows that African women have never not been incapacitated. So the African woman uh, is also celebrating this event being hosted here for the first time in its history in Africa and South Africa. We don't even see it as us, South Africa, hosting. We're hosting it as part of uh, Africa and on behalf of Africa. The second issue is about heritage. It happens in the month of September. It's a very important month in the calendar of the Republic of South Africa. And part of it is that Communication has always been part of our heritage through song, dance, music, as you saw with the opening. And therefore, even with the advanced innovative uh, uh, solutions, our, our heritage can now reach, stands a chance of reaching the world. I saw how international guests were excited watching the beauty of the African culture united in our diversity, Indian Kosa, Sutu, Tswana, all of them in unison. That was very important and is very important for us. The third one, it's, a, it's that in the midst of the global economic recession, we can still inspire hope that the, 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 the telecommunication sector can contribute towards growing our economy. And that, that's why I'm saying here are the three uh, opportunities that we see uh, as, as, as the hosts of this uh, world conference. Nomvula Mokonyani, Minister of Communications, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much for inviting us. Thank you. Thank you. Correct.